New information tonight on the fallout from the release of that inspector general's report. Here is chief intelligence correspondent Catherine Herridge. At least two Trump campaign aides have pled guilty to lying to federal agents, a violation of 18 U.S.C. 1001. The inspector general's report found FBI personnel on the Clinton email case dismissed the idea that anyone would be prosecuted for misleading investigators. An unidentified agent grilled a Hillary Clinton aide over access to a secure facility at Clinton's New York home, known as a SCIF, that is supposed to be off limits without a security clearance. Agent 1, awesome, lied his blank off went from never inside the skiff at res to looked in when it was being constructed to remove the trash twice to troubleshot the secure fax with HRC a couple of times to every time there was a secure fax, I did it with HRC. Ridiculous. FBI employee. Would be funny if he was the only guy charged in this deal. Agent 1, I know, for 1001, even if he said the truth and didn't have a clearance when handling the secure fax, ain't no one going to do blank. The inspector general also takes on Clinton's assertion. The fact is nothing that uh, I sent or received was marked classified and nothing has been uh, demonstrated to uh, contradict that. Fox News first reported that a handful of Clinton emails contain classified markings. The C stands for confidential, the least sensitive. In her July 2016 FBI interview, Clinton repeatedly speculated it was a reference to paragraphs ranked in alphabetical order. Witnesses told the IG her claim that she did not understand the significance of the C marking strained credulity. Agent one stated, I filed that in the bucket of hard to impossible to believe. The Justice Department Inspector General also referred five FBI employees for investigation for politically charged text, revealing in its report that more bureau officials beyond Agent Peter Strunk and FBI lawyer Lisa Page exchanged anti-Trump text messages. After months of negotiations, Strunk may not be able to avoid answering questions under oath much longer. We have been asking for Peter Strzok for quite some time now, uh, and we've advised the department that if they do not produce him uh, shortly, a subpoena will be issued by me very shortly to require him to come in and testify. On Monday, Inspector General Horowitz and FBI Director Ray will publicly testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee. Horowitz is expected to defend his findings about political bias. Ray is expected to defend the Bureau after the report's sobering findings, Brett. We'll follow it all. Catherine, thank you.